see my face, I'm going to start preaching. Leave it on the book. When I see my face, I'm going to start preaching. That's what you're opening up on. Okay? All right. When I see my face, I'm going to start preaching. Bible teacher, Minister Dennis Rogers, grace and peace be unto you. From God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Today we're going to be talking about good and light exhales darkness. We're going to be talking about good and light exhales darkness. Here at the Narrow Dose Ministry, you know what we do? We define all of our words. We go back to the original text. We go back to the original text. We do have the original text which is the interlinear Bible. We are a Bible study group. We use books such as the Strong's Concordance, Synonyms by Ronald C. Trent. We use uh, Encyclopedia Bible Studies, Webster Dictionary, Brown's Driver's Bridge, and many other word study books. Today we're going to be going into the book of Genesis, looking at how God formed the earth, how God made and formed the earth in six days. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 is a picture of the new birth. Genesis chapter 1 is a picture of God, of man, being born again. It's a picture of God renovating, regenerating, and uh, making the earth all over again. Let us go to Genesis chapter 1. Charles, or her, give me Genesis chapter 1. Give me verse number 1. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay. Say, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. J.D., give me verse number two. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Okay. And the spirit now, of and, and, that's it, right? and the spirit oh, of God sorry, moved. Go ahead, my fault. Uh huh. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay. We see in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, but in chapter two, in chapter two. In chapter 2 of the book of, 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 in chapter 1, help me, Holy Spirit, in the book of Genesis, when we get to verse number 2, we got a word there. That word in verse number 2, I'm looking at it in, 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 in the interlinear Bible. This is original text. In verse number 2, it says the earth was, that word is the word, that word was, is 1961. What it is, it's 1961. Let me hear the word was. I believe it's the word haya or kaya, C H A Y A H or H A Y A H. Okay, it's 1961. Because I want you to understand what he's saying there. Let me go back to the Hebrew because the Old Testament was written in the Hebrew and the New Testament was written in Greek. So we go to Strong's Concordance, go to the Hebrew and Aramaic Dictionary, and we look up under 1961. Which I said previously, and I believe that word is either kaya or haya, both of them being synonyms or derivatives from each other. They in the same family. Let's just put it like that. Mm -hmm. 1961 and 1961 is the word haya. That's what it is. H A Y A H. It's the word haya. That word was. That word was. W, W, A, S is the word H, A, Y, A, H. That means to exist or to be or it means be, came. That's what it means. So that word was in verse number two should be became, okay? Mm -hmm. It should be became. That's a terrible translation because if we go to the, we go to the book of our, uh, Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah chapter 45. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 45. When we go to Isaiah, when we go to chapter 45, are you guys there? Amen. Mm -hmm. we give me verse number uh, give me verse number 18, Carolyn. For thus said the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he created it not in vain. Okay, he created it not in vain. When it said he created it not in vain, that's the word Tahoe. That's T 
T-O-H, that's T-O-H-U-W. That's the word in vain. It says God did not make it in vain. That word in vain means to lie waste, a desolation of surface, a worthless thing. Mm -hmm. So in Isaiah 46, Isaiah 45, verse number 18, it says, the Lord that created the heavens, correct? Mm -hmm. God who? Himself. That formed what? The, the earth, earth and what did he do? made it. He did what to the earth? Established it. No, 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 no. What did he do to the earth? He formed, he formed it and he made it. it. And made it. Thank you very much. That's what I want to say. God himself that did what? Formed the earth and made it. Okay. Now, we got a, what, 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 what punctuation mark we got there? Semicolon. We got a semicolon because it's going to tell us what he did after he formed and made it, right? Mm -hmm. Give us an explanation. He did what? Established it. Come on. He, he created, created it not in vain. He, he did not create it a worthless thing, right? right. Correct. Right? Right. Talk to me, church. Right. Okay, then I need to get, get a response. Remember? Respond. He did not make it a worthless thing. God did not make the earth a worthless thing. That's Amen. the word. That's the word. T O H U W. He didn't make the word a worthless thing, okay? That's Amen. the word Tahu. T O H U W. So Isaiah said that God did not make the earth a worthless thing. He formed it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. The word form got to be the word Yatsar, right? Mm -hmm. We know that's the word Yatsar. Y A T S A R. Because it's in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. he formed it, or he fashioned, he fashioned it, it, or, or he shaped it. it. Mm -hmm. And what was his purpose in shaping it? To be inhabited. And then what did he say? I, I am, am the Lord, Lord and, and there is none else. else. Thank you very much. He said, I am the Lord, and there is none else. So now, from Isaiah 45, verse number 18, we know that he did not make it an empty place. Okay? Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. So when God made it, he did not make it an empty place. Talk back with me, church. That's correct. All right. He did not make it an empty place. So something had to happen mm -hmm. between verse number one. one and verse number two. Mm -hmm. Okay? We know what happened in verse number one verse number two, right? Amen. Let's go to uh, Revelation. Carolyn, you give me Revelation. Charles, you give me uh, Ezekiel. J.D., you give me Isaiah. Isaiah okay? Carolyn, you give me Revelation. Charles, you're going to give me what? Ezekiel. Okay, and J.D., you going to give me what? Isaiah. All right, then. Well, well who comes first? I, Isaiah come before Ezekiel, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Come on, uh, J.D., give me Isaiah. Isaiah 14, uh, verse number 9. You should know the verse. We, we looking at what happened between verse okay. number and verse number 2. How art thou, thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Thank you. All right, Charles, give me your verse. Ezekiel 28, verse 17. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty, and thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Okay, come on, uh, Carolyn. Revelation 12, 7 through 10. And there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought against his angels, and prevailed not, neither was there place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay, now y'all have to preach out. What's the other verse? Luke 18, I'm sorry, Luke, Luke 10, 10, 18. Right, Luke 10, all right, I'm already there. Luke 10 and verse number what? 18. Luke 10, verse number 18. I'm going to read 17 for clarity. And the 70 return again. I'm in Luke chapter 10, verse number 17. I'm reading to 18. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, with joy saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. He said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from where? Heaven. So we read... Isaiah 14, verse number what, J.D.? Verse number 12. We read Isaiah 14, verse number 12. We read Ezekiel, come on, 28, Charles. verse 17. Ezekiel 28, what? Verse 17. Come on, Kelly, we read what? Revelations 12, 7 through 10. Okay, then, so, let me put I'm these sorry. on the board so they can know which ones to read. 7 through 9. Okay, we'll put, I'll, I'll put them up on the board so that so they out there are no good verses they can Amen. Amen. I got Isaiah what, J.D.? 14, verse 12. 
Isaiah 14, verse number what? 12. Come on, uh, child. Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28. Verse 17. Verse number 17. Come on, Carolyn. Revelation 12, 7, Revelation through, 12, 7 through 9. 7 through 9. And what else did I read? Luke, Luke 10, 10, 17, 10, 17, verse 13. Luke what? 10, 10, 10 17, 17, and 18. 18. 17 through 18. Now, these are the verses of, of Satan being what? Cast, Cast out, out of heaven. Thank you very much, J.D. Cast out of heaven. heaven. Satan, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Or what else he called Carolyn? Give me your scripture. They call him what, Carolyn? The devil. They call him the devil. Mm-hmm. And Satan. What else they call him? Lucifer. The Lucifer. G- the great the dragon. Morning. Thank you, Carolyn, because I know you got him over there in, in Lucifer. I, I know you got him over there mm-hmm. in Revelation. The what great, else they call him? The great dragon. What else they call the him? The old serpent. That old, thank you. I know you got him over there. <laughs> I read the scripture. I know the scripture. <laughs> I know every name that he's called in the Bible is right there. In Revelation chapter 12, every name of Lucifer, mm-hmm. every name of the devil is recorded in Revelation. Excuse me. It's recorded. You want to find the names of the, of, of the serpent or the devil being used in the Bible, you go to Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 through 9. What is he called, Carolyn? He's called the great dragon. Uh-huh. He's called the old serpent. Uh-huh. He's called the devil. Uh-huh. And he's called Satan. Thank you very much. And in your scripture, Jenny, they call him what? Lucifer. Thank you very much. And, and Charles over there, over your scripture, they call him the mm-hmm. cherubim that what? The anointed cherubim the, that covers. Thank you very much. Anointed cherubim. Or cherub that covers. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I thought so. Anointed cherub. A-N-O-I-N-T-E-D. Anointed cherub. cherub. Then what? Cover it. See, oh, cover it. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. E-T-H? E-T-H, right Doing now. Doing it right now, mm-hmm. Yes. Let's believe it. Those are, those are the name of Satan. So, you can find the casting out of Satan in Isaiah 14, 1 through 12, Ezekiel 28, 17, Revelation 12, 7 through 9, Luke 10, 17 through 18. These are the names. He's called the devil, Lucifer, the great dragon, that old serpent. Satan and the anointed cherub that come. Between Genesis 1 <laughs> and Genesis 2, he was cast to the ground, right? Amen. Amen. Now, when he was cast to that ground, something happened, didn't it? Amen. Yes. Something happened, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes. When he was cast to the ground, what happened? The earth, earth became was without form. Tahu. The earth became without form. That's ta Tahu. That's what happened. It became a worthless thing, didn't it? Mm-hmm. So now, since he a work, a worthless thing. That's what happened to the earth. Mm-hmm. Now the earth is a worthless thing. Mm-hmm. What it's doing, it has a desolation of surface. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's nothing but an empty place. It's an empty place. Right? right. Mm-hmm. And we know it's an empty place. Mm-hmm. Talk back with me. Amen. Because right. in six days, God makes it and forms it all over again. again. That's Amen. exactly what he does. Amen. Because there's nothing there. There's Talk nothing. back with me. Amen. Amen. All right then. Okay. So let's go back over to Genesis. Y'all, this is there. That's good. I got to get over there. So it says the earth became mm-hmm. a worthless thing, right? Mm-hmm. It became a empty place, right? Mm-hmm. It became waste. And boy, Bahu. Bohu, B O H U W, Tahu, Bohu. That's what it means. It's, it's Tahu. It's like this, and you always see the writers. They'll put it like this. I hope y'all out there. I believe I want to leave that up there for. They have it like this. T O H U W, B O H U W. So it's Tahu and a H, the H. The H U W is. The H U W is H O O and a B U W is B O O. So it's Ta Hu Ba Hu. That's how they, that's a, that's how that, that's how it's pronounced. Because this is Hebrew. So we know we wouldn't have no vowels, right? Amen. right. So we wouldn't have no right? Right. We would have no U, no, right? Right. We'd have no O, so it would be C. Ha Hu Ba Hu. Ba Hu. Hello? Amen. Thank you very much. Okay. So now. It's Tahu Bahu. It says the earth came, it became a worthless thing, and it became void. 
Void means vacuity. <coughs> V-A-C-U-I-T-Y. Vacuity. That's where we get our word vacuum. vacuum. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it became, it became empty. Mm. It's just a vacuum now. Wow. Hello? Mm -hmm. It's an undistinguishable ruin. It's undistinguishable. <laughs> so if it's undistinguishable, we cannot do what? Recognize. We cannot recognize. We don't know what. We don't know what it is. What's what? what? <laughs> it's just lying there waste. We don't know what it is. Or we don't know what it was. Right. All we know is what it has become. become. That's what I'm talking about. All we know is what it has become. become. Right. Because we have never seen it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. He created it to be inhabited. Right. And he did not create it in vain. He did not create it in vain. Amen. We know that. Right. Okay? Right. So now we know that it has became a worthless thing. Mm -hmm. It's an undistinguishable ruin. Mm -hmm. Right. Why is, it under, uh, why is it a worthless thing and an undistinguishable distinguishable ruin? Satan was cast out of heaven. James, Satan was cast out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, now, it says, and darkness was up on the face of the deep. And we know the deep is the abyss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are waters. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's a darkness. The word darkness, the word darkness, the word darkness is the word koshek. Koshek. C H O S. S-H-E-K, S-H-E-K. This is Hebrew because we're in the New Testament. Old, Old Testament. Testament. I mean the uh, Old Testament. This mm -hmm. is Hebrew because we're in the Old Testament. Amen. It says, this word means the dark. Okay? Okay. So, now, oh, not only, not only now, come on now, stay with me, y'all. Not only is it a worthless thing mm -hmm. in an empty place, mm -hmm. it's an undistinguishable ruin, but it's also what? Dark. It's just so dark. Mm -hmm. So you cannot you see, see nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, what I want you guys to do in there, I want you to put it in black. Go to black. That's how the earth is. Y'all can still hear me. This is how the earth was. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. And then God said, let there be light. light. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> That's how it was. It was dark. That's exactly how it was. It was I wish I had a whip. Amen. It was it was empty. It was a worthless thing. It's an Undistinguishable ruin. ruin. You could not see it. Could it was dark. It. That's how it was. Amen. Amen. It was dark. That was Darkness good. was up on, on the, the face, face of, of the deep. deep. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. And the spirit of God move upon the water. Verse number three, God said, Light be. Mm -hmm. There was light. Dark mean, listen to this, dark mean, dark mean, figuratively, figuratively it means misery. Mm. Wow. It means death. Mm. Mm. Ignorance. God help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> wow. Sorrow. Man. Wickedness. If that ain't dead and trespassing and sin, I don't, don't know what it is. Amen. Destruction. Wow. A man, an individual that is not born again. Is in misery, Amen. destruction, Amen. death, Sorry. ignorance, Amen. Mm -hmm. sorrow, Amen. wickedness. Mm -hmm. That's a man that's not born again. Amen. That's a man that's not born again. That's a picture of the soul. Mm -hmm. right? right? Amen. That's a picture of the soul. Because the casting out of Satan, hitting the earth, had an effect upon what was in it and on it. Right. Talk yeah. back with me. Right. Mm -hmm. This word koshet comes from the word kashat. C H A S H A K. 
Okay. The word kashak means means cause darkness to be dim. It means to hide. So everything was hid. Mm -hmm. Couldn't see nothing. Nope. Right? Right. So the first thing that happens is what? What is the first thing that happens? God said. Happened. Something happened. No. Oh. The first thing that happens. The Spirit of God moved. Thank Amen. The Spirit of God moved. Amen. Up on the what? Face, Face of the water. water. Moves up on that surface, doesn't it? Right. It moves up on the surface, right? Right. right. First thing, because what it was lying up on the surface, talk to me, mm -hmm. was lying up on the surface, misery, misery destruction, death, 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 ignorance, sorrow, and wickedness. wickedness. Mm -hmm. That's what lies upon the soul of a man, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a picture of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. This is what's lying upon the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, in verse number, God came work. In that, right? No. Okay, because we're going to find out later what God is. Mm -hmm. So when God see this darkness, this misery, this death, this ignorance, this sorrow, this witness, up on the face, mm -hmm. on the face of the what? Deep, deep. Up on the face, face of, of the deep. The, mm -hmm. God said what? What light, did God light, say? Let be, there be light. light. Thank you. Let there be light or light be. be. That's what God said. Mm -hmm. We know all the other words. It's not original. Amen. Text. Right. Amen. So we're going to read it just like it is in the scripture. God said, let there be light or light be. be. And what happened? And there, there was light. light. And there was light. Right? Amen. Amen. And then it said, what else does it say? And God, God saw, saw the light, light that it was, it was good. good. And, and God, God divided the light from the darkness. Okay. It said God saw the light. Right? Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, and that light was what? Good. good. He said, that light was good. I'm going to take this off now. He said, that light was good, didn't he? Yes, Amen. He said, God saw that light. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. And when God saw the light, what did God say? It God saw good. the light. And uh, like verse number four. Amen. He saw that it was good. Said, Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. God saw the light. That, that and God, what did God see in light? Good. good. God good. seen good in light. Amen. So in light, there is no misery. Amen. Ain't no death. Amen. Ain't no ignorance. Talk back with me. Mm -hmm. Ain't no sorrow. Amen. Ain't no wickedness. Amen. Ain't no destruction, destruction in light. Destruction in light, no. Amen. Right? Amen. God said his light was Tobe. T-O-W-B. Okay. This word, Tobe, good, can be used as an adjective. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. A noun. Masculine. Feminine, singular, or plural. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's also going to be used as an adverb. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, right here, God see this light. This light is, is the description of it is good, right? Mm -hmm. That's what that is. And it's a noun, right? Mm -hmm. It's got to be male, don't it? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's masculine light. Mm -hmm. Singular light. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. well, we know that's the word. Amen. We're going to look at it. We're going to see it. Okay? Okay. Okay. It says, this word good means, now listen to what the word good means. It means well, beautiful, best, better, bountiful, cheerful, at ease, be in favor, favor, glad, good. Graciously, joyful, kind, kindness, loving, prosperity, pleasant, pleasure, sweet, wealth, welfare, well favor. Okay? Mm -hmm. Comes from the word tobe. Because one of them is a noun and one of them is a, is a verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. In the Hebrew, you always have a noun form of the word and you always have a verb form of the word, just like in the Greek. You always have a noun form and you always have a verb form. Mm -hmm. This right here, this is the verb form. This means to be good, to make good, to do good. Talk back with me. Mm -hmm. Okay? It means to make good, to be good, or to do good. And it's always 
transitional. Right? Mm -hmm. Y'all know a transitional mm -hmm. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's a transitive verb. So it means it's always moving, right? Mm -hmm. So we got light, and when we get light, what do we get? So when we got light, we got, you have good. good. We got good. Thank Amen. you. We got good. Amen. Thank you very much, Carolyn, because this is the first time the word good is mentioned. Amen. Right? Amen. This is the first time in the Bible the word good is mentioned. Mm -hmm. Get good in verse 4. Right. 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 So we got light. So anytime you got light, you got that what? Good. When you got darkness, what you got? Misery, Misery sorrow, sorrow, destruction, ignorance. wickedness. Ignorance. Come on. Death, Death ignorance. and ignorance. Mm -hmm. right? Right. right? So now, stay with me. Don't lose it. When this light shows up, you don't got no more misery, darkness. <laughs> but hold on. Let me not go. Let me not go fast. You still got misery. <laughs> <laughs> you still got de death. You still got ignorance, sorrow, destruction, right? Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Still got it, right? Mm -hmm. 